So just like you launched your business, you got excited because, oh, you know, these guys are doing it this way. We can do it better. Or these guys have left the market or this industry wide open and there's nobody filling in that gap or filling in that void. And you can. So it's exciting. You start your business. You start hiring people. You start getting customers. You start getting clients. You start getting foot traffic. You start getting people online. However, but people are now starting to do business with you. Exciting times that you're now tasting the best of entrepreneurs that you don't have to wait for a boss to pay you. Now you're starting to earn what you're worth. But now you're stuck. How stuck are you? Stuck. Stalled, really. And worse, other people kind of figured out what you're about. And guess what they did? They started doing the same thing too as well. So you may have been in a position where there was no competition. But guess what now? You've inspired a lot of people. And they're now in the same space as you are. Or you're trying to take on the behemoths that have been ahead of you. Again, you find yourself kind of emotionally, mentally paralyzed between what to do next in terms of scaling your business. And somewhat you feel stuck. And here's the goal. And we'll clearly put it here for you to see. Your goal is to position yourself uniquely in the market, offering a solution so distinctive that no one can truly can compete with you. A great resource for this that Patrick had read, read was called Blue Ocean Strategy. So I'll share with you a case study of how we started our company, PHP Agency. 2009, Patrick with David founded the company in October 2009, primarily because, and by the way, he didn't want to start a business, but he was kind of forced into position because where he was free, previous to that, they weren't giving him a seat at the table. He was going to be the big, one of the biggest guys at his previous company, and nobody's giving him a seat at the table. No one's giving him an opportunity to earn equity ownership, just commissions and fees, just that's it. That's all I'm going to do if I'm going to bust the best years of my life here. So Patrick started PHP in 2009. And what he recognized at that moment on his market research, the multicultural middle income demographic, sadly, was facing decades of being overlooked and underserved. And as the immigrant population in America is getting bigger and bigger and bigger, the legal immigrant population is getting bigger and bigger and bigger, that financial services were getting away, 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 away from serving those in the multicultural middle income, and also immigrant demographic. And here's our market research. Our market research is like, listen, the average age of an insurance agent, financial service professional is a 60, 65 year old Caucasian male. And you know it, many of you, if I said, look up a, a Webster's dictionary, a financial advisor, insurance agent, what stereotypical image would be in that picture if we said insurance agent or financial advisor? And you see it on the news all day. You see it in Fox Business, you see it on MSN Money, you see it on all these shows, the general demographic of a financial services professional and insurance agent is a 60, 65 year old, middle age, older Caucasian male. You're not gonna find faces like mine, even though I've been doing it for 25 years. You're not gonna find faces like Patrick David doing, doing it for 20 plus years. You're not gonna find many faces in the black and brown community in the financial services industry. And we recognized that the insurance industry poorly attracted the multicultural middle income demographic to its ranks. And so in 2009, we said, you know what? We're going to recruit not only agents in that demographic, but we're also going to sell to clients in the demographic. Here's why. Many people in America today, and I'm not saying th something you already know, that the average person in America today is not saving any money. The average person in America today is wrapped up in buying crap, stuck in consumerism. Even the media calls... Folks in America, consumer spending, consumer this, consumer that, consumers are going to this, blah, 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 Black, Black Friday. Thank you, thank you very much, consumers, for rescuing the retail industry on Black Friday. What happened during COVID when current president was sending people COVID checks and unemployment checks and stay-at-home checks to incentivize people to stay home? People getting paid four, five, six thousand dollars to stay home. And guess what most people did with that money? They shopped. They bought, they didn't stop, they didn't invest, they didn't do their own market research on themselves. Many small businesses didn't do their own market research on themselves. And now they needed a bailout where many businesses were asking for this PPP loan from the government. You know, the PPP loan that the government was giving out that if you keep your people employed, that uh, you don't have to pay the money back. Well, people were abusing it. And just a side note, my wife and I, we never took out the PPP loan. I don't know how to fill out a business loan. You know what we're doing in business? We're saving, capitalizing, stacking cash. So in moments in, in our market, we're weak. 
Our competitors were weak. The economy was weak. We had the cash and capital to move in and acquire businesses or expand our business. And guess what we did? Exactly that. The biggest explosion in our business came right before COVID, going into COVID and right out of COVID. Why? Because we're stacking cash based on our market research. Because a lot of the insurance agents who were 60, 65 years old during COVID, they said, you know what? Done. I'm out of here. I'm, I'm retiring. I'm no longer in the business anymore. Guess what happened to their clients? The clients were looking for an advisor. The clients were looking for an agent. The clients that were help, the advisors and agents that were helping them retired because they didn't know how to use Zoom. They didn't know how to get online and do virtual meetings. We did. So when we recruited and attracted a younger demographic into the insurance industry, the average person in our company today is a 34-year-old Latina. And guess who the highest income earners of the company are in our company today? Women. Do you think that was by mistake? Or that was by market research. That was by default. And today, one of the largest attractors of women in the multicultural demographic into the industry today is through our company. Large attractors of immigrants, legal immigrants who've got their green card to the insurance industry, financial service industry, is our company. And these are things that we did to build ourselves to a $300 million exit a couple years ago. Oh, I'm